Alrighty guys and welcome back in. Today we're going to be spawning in as Leatherface on the Pale Rose Backwater Swamp. Now I can tell you my totem's in a bad spot up there to the left hand side but that is okay. I'm not going to set the crows off to the right. I'm actually going to run towards my totem and sidestep to that generator over there. I know somebody activated that who was not me. Totem's in a really awkward spot. I doubt anyone's on it this early, but I know it will be going really soon. I reckon there's going to be a survivor over here. I don't want to commit to too much time management over here. I've got multiple jennies I need to worry about as well. Upstairs, generator's going to be in an awkward spot. I kind of want to sidestep and go back into that, but I'm actually going to let my ruin go. I'm not going to commit too much time over here. I'm going to try and get one stack of play with your food or one hit and leave. Based on my totem, is not going to last or be in a good spot. Sounds like they didn't even work on the generator. We're going to go right back through the center of the map. Keeping in mind, they could be in multiple different areas. I can't check that gen from my location. I want to check on this, and I think that's where I'm going to go. Somebody let go of it. Did they run when they let go of it? I see scratches around the back, but not around the front. So we're going to sidestep here. I see... Ooh, I saw a scratch a little bit further back, but I want it to be safe, yeah? I don't think I saw anyone come all the way back here, but apparently I'd be wrong. And that is going to be a sword down, because he's out of position. Make a decision with what happens. Do I pick them up or do I go through the map? I'm gonna pick them up and hook them. As soon as somebody comes over here, the better. I've gotta be mindful of my totems in a really awkward spot. I wanna take him through the map. The further away from my totem I hook him, the more likely people are gonna come away from where they need to be. I wanna check on the gen upstairs and then I'm gonna go through the center of the map. I'm not even gonna walk upstairs. I'm gonna use my heartbeat to check the generator. That's my heartbeat checking the generator and that's me telling somebody was on the gen. All right, let's sidestep. Let's come up through the right. What are we looking at here? That could have been a chainsaw. That was a bad play by me. I panicked a little bit and I went for a lunch hit, but that is okay. If I can get her down, even better. If I can get a pallet stun out of her, that'd be great as well. I don't want to commit to this chase. Looks like she's taken horrid pathing. Somebody was originally on either gen, so there was three different people on three different gens. Not good for me. One back on that gen, back to the right. I want to down her straight away. Bad positioning. We'll take an M1. Make a decision right now. Do I care about the generator more or do I care about hooking this survivor? Honestly, based on my totem location, I care about the hook more. I know somebody's still on that objective. I'm going to go through. My obsession's been Maya. I'm hoping up here is going to be my obsession. I should have went for the chainsaw here, but I kind of did panic a tiny bit there. Let's go back up. If he stays on this, we're going to be assuming that it's nearly done. He's still on it. Is that 5% movement speed? That is going to be my obsession now. Well, you stuffed that up. I'm going to sidestep so she can't make the window. And I'm going to chase her down. We tried to go for the blind. She missed time that I made sure I was in the way. Being in the way was very crucial then. So she couldn't take the window on me. I kind of wanted her to blind me to give me the movement speed. But that is fine. They're stacking on the gen down there to the right. I'm going to lose that too. I've done quite a lot of hooks. I've kept my totem up. That's okay that they let go of the gen. Let's see what they decide to do. We're going through the center of the map here. I'm going to try and keep my heartbeat across the entire board. Looks like they took a group here. We're coming for you. Is that a sprint burst? You're out of position, darling. I'm going to down her. I'm not going to hook her. We'll moonwalk up here a little bit. Get her to miss position. Let's get that chainsaw down. Let's leave her there for a bit. Now I've got pressure in two different areas and two people MIA unaccounted for. That guy's been saved. Got to be mindful of the totem. I see you running. Are you my obsession? You're not. You're the Jeff from earlier that I downed at the beginning of the trial. That's okay. Might lose my totem here. I'm getting decent regression on my objectives too. Looks like he's coming to the right. You're going to try and play the... Oh, he kept going around the back. Because he kept going, I'm going to go back up and through. Turn my light. Try and hide it. Is there a scratch underneath? Looks like he... Did he come through? Looks like he didn't come through. He played the window. Go take an M1 in his back. That there is me letting go of Chase. I don't want this anymore. I'm going to go all the way back across the board where everyone's going to be coming to save this girl. Looking at these scratch marks, this works well in my favor because this is the direction I wanted to go. We got Sprint Burst. We don't. I'm going to walk through it. I'd like 5% movement speed. I'm going to take it. Beautiful. I'm going to pull up the sword. I'm going to break it. See what she does. She's already left. I'm going to go for a moonwalk after her. That's going to allow me... Oops, somebody's back here on this objective. I'm going to leave it and I'm going to come in because you know who's on this right now? That's Jeff. Jeff's the only injured target. Jeff let go of the gen. Did he let go too early or too late? Where'd you go, Jeff? He went up and around through the back. They're on that generator down there. I need to make a decision. Jeff stayed up top. I'm going to come in over here and apply pressure here. Scratches in the middle of the map. Everybody got three different people on three different gens. Walking through. All I want is an M1 and I'm going to let go of that. I'm going to take 5% movement speed from her and a free pallet. I'm going to apply it on this player right here because I still have Ruin up, so I know they're still on the gen. Looks like this would be my original obsession. She's taken pretty awkward pathing. Should be able to get a hit in the back here, even if she tries to medium. Jeff's back on his generator in the corner of the map. A little bit of pressure on different targets. Gotta be mindful. This gen has that other girl back on it. I'm gonna break the pallet, and then I'm gonna go right through the map. She does. She's not on it, apparently. All right. All right, let's go apply pressure to Jeff right now. No Jeff likes to leave nice and early. Scratches over here. Player hiding. 5% mover speed from the hider. Let's go get our Jeff. 
Jeff greeted a bit. We'll take you down with a saw. You're out of position again. Let's punish her for it. Letting go of your chases can be crucial to your success in Dead by Daylight. To make a decision. I'm going to slug her, and I'm going to come through, and I'm going to chase this player over here instead, rather than the one behind. Somebody's upstairs. You're out of position as well. Beautiful. Now I get two downed. I hook one, and then I go through the map. Nice lunge. Needed to make sure the pallet wasn't there. We're going to leave that other girl all the way to the right-hand side. We're going to try and play the jungle gym in the center of the map after we hook this one right here. It means one person's MIA. I've kept them away from my totem, which is crucial. I can see scratch marks up there, and I know they're going to be on the gen. The other guy's been picked up. I know where every single player is, which is really good for me. I'm going to moonwalk up. That's a Jeff. That's a 5% movement speed. I'll take a hit. I'll take that as well. That's good. We'll break it. I'm going to moonwalk. I'll sidestep all the way back down here. I heard a girl crying. That's unfortunate. Kind of got turned around a little bit. I'm going to come back down, get that 5%, and apply pressure elsewhere. Not over committing to my chases. Everyone's injured right now. I find a lot of leather faces with Nemesis play with your food. Don't go en for enough M1s. You should be obviously soaring when you can. But if they misposition themselves, punish them for it. Sidestep there, twist here. Where did you go? Beautiful. Well played, she's gone. I've lost her. Somebody's probably up top. I and Will really doing damage right now, but at the same time, got a couple of pallets out of the way. Got pressure in the center of the map. Looks like we're gonna get group healing. Movement over there. I turned my camera at the right time. Let's go get him. We got 5% movement speed. We're moving at 120% over here right now. And she's near my totem. I don't like that. She's gonna play Shaq. She is gonna play Shaq. Question is, do I hide my light and walk up behind her? There you go. Down she goes. A little bit of a light turn there. Two different people in two different areas. These survivors are really trying to split pressure gens. So the correct play for me now is hook one near this generator and try and force this guy through the middle of the map to apply pressure towards that other generator. Keeping in mind, one person is still unaccounted for. Two body blocks and this girl's off. One's not enough. Let's go in for this player behind me. Already let go. Scratches to the right. You're not my fight. You are my 5%. We'll take 5%. We'll take an M1 in the back. Actually, I need to make a decision here. I'm just gonna down her. Let the generator up top go because she's out of position. Question is, do I pick her up or do I slug her? She doesn't have any choices of her play right now. Look up, pull in the saw, down she goes. Keep her in the corner of the map. Apply pressure to whoever's upstairs on this objective right now. Looks like it's gonna be Jeff as well. I have eaten the pallet too. And the other guy went for a save. Let's moonwalk up here to see what Jeff's doing. Running to my right. There he is. It wasn't Jeff. Okay, let's down her too. Another player out of position, another chainsaw hit. It's very important that I'm going around the board when I can. The ones that are healing, I'm soaring down. The ones that aren't, I'm taking the uh, M1s on. Taking the 5% where I can, punishing them when I can too. Coming through the middle of the map, Jeff injured to go get that other girl up. Therefore, I can take 5% out of her and use that against Jeff. Down Jeff. If I do it quick enough, I can preserve the 5% as well. If I do it quick enough, scratches all the way at the back in front of me. Where do they lead? To the right? Yes, they do. That is a Jeff trying to hide out of position as well, my friend. We're going to do that. We're going to sidestep here and moonwalk a little bit of a twist. Where did you go? Did you keep running? Oh, he's taking bad pathing here. Let's punish him. Made sure I held M1. That way I could go for the long hit on him if he did have dead heart, which he did. She's down. Other guys saved, meaning one person's unaccounted for currently right now. The person that didn't save. Meanwhile, our totem is still up because we've kept people away from it. We've done a lot of hooks. We've done a lot of trading when we can. This is just one of those prime examples where movement can actually make you win or break you in Dead by Daylight. Instantly going to come up here and check. We've lost the uh, god gen, which is fine. I don't think anyone is up here. Kind of worried about my totem a little bit, but you want to know something? I've done like eight hooks, so it's kind of worth losing my totem right now. Coming right back through the center of the map. If I can see any scratch or any indicator, I cannot. I got pretty good vision here too. Alright, we'll get a little bit closer to my totem. Might lose it as punishment to go back to the hook then. Girl crying to my right. Girl trying to hide to my right. We M1-1 and we go for the other one. That way we've got pressure on both targets. That is fine. Where does she go with this? I've already eaten the pallet in the middle of the map. That's a medium vault. That's an M1 in the back again, cutie. They have went upstairs. That window's sealed. Let's go through the center of the map. We know that we heard the crows, so we know what direction these guys ran in. I can see a scratch in here, so I know they've gone inside. Haven't worked on the gen, but they're inside somewhere. Crying behind me to the left hand left eardrum. There you are, Jeff. Show me the dead hard. No? Very good dead hard. I managed to wait and hold it for as long as possible, but he still got away with it. Let's punish him. And down he goes. He wasn't the one that went through. There were two players there. There's one in, over here to the right. I should have slugged him and went over there to the right in case he had DS, which he didn't. I supply pressure to this player over here. Just let go of the gen. Hide my light while I come up the stairs because they're probably going to come around the back end here. Do I see any information? I do not. No scratch marks underneath. Through. 
Can't see anything. They faded. Only the smallest amount of scratch marks. Don't know where they went. There they are. Down she goes. One person on full health. What do I want to do? Do I want to hook her? Do I not want to hook her? I will take the hook on her. She's not on death hook and I know exactly where I'm going to hook her because I know exactly where I need to go. I need to go through the map. She's not wiggling, so we'll take her to the closer hook and then we'll go right towards that player all the way over here to the left-hand side. That is going to be two people actually dead. One person MIA. One person my obsession. Let go of the Jenny. Thinking I had barbecue. Already ran early to the right-hand side. Anne is my obsession. Anne has a flashlight. I need to go through in case she tries to play here. M1, let's get stacks, baby. Let's get stacks to play with your food and we'll use that against them. Here are my right eardrum, my left now. She's double vaulted. Good for you. Let's keep getting stacks of this because we know roughly where the other guy's going to be. Keep looking at her. That's good. We'll get another stack out of her as long as we don't end chase early. She took really bad pathing here. That's fine. She's really out of position. Could easily walk up behind her and M1 her. What I'm going to do now is I know she doesn't have iron will. I know I'm going to get a stack and I know a guy just broke my totem over here. So he's most likely on this objective. There you go, it's been started. Don't see him. Gonna be close. Blood, blood, blood. Look at the trail. We're gonna follow it. We're gonna down him. We're gonna go through the map and punish the other one. We got a very big lunge at 125% movement speed. Absolute crazy lunge. I could pick him up, but I'm gonna go through knowing that the other guy doesn't have Iron Will. Knowing he was on the right-hand side of the board, I'm gonna slice this thing directly in half, and that's my decision-making. He healed himself. He's right in front of me. And just like that, I'm moving at 125 to 120% movement speed up behind him with a chainsaw, countering the penalty I received for revving the saw. We'll make it. Just, just a little bit enough time. That's okay. I will break it. Good attempt on the blind, but we're going to be able to walk right up behind her and down her. And that's going to be game over. If the other guy doesn't have Unbreakable, I walk away from that. I did use a stack. I would not have done that if I didn't have already multiple people dead and she wasn't the last chase. I would not have given her that free stack that I did breaking the pallet with the chainsaw. So the 5% can be very valuable on Leatherface when you value it alongside the M1s. A lot of people just try and go for the chainsaw hits and it's great if you can land every chainsaw hit. Now the survivors did split pressure on multiple different gens. Their looping may not have been the best but their situational awareness and moving throughout the map did work out really well. I was lucky the guy with the flashlight constantly kept trying to use pallets and blind me. I don't know where this guy is on the ground. I'm going to check the hotspot quickly straight away to see if that the hatch is over here near the shack. Hatch has not spawned here. So let's find out where she has gone. Now she could have crawled through the map. She's at a window. But we're going to check the edge here real quick. Don't see anything. That is alright. Let's go right through the center here. I hear crying in my left eardrum. And there she is. Nice. So the sound is very loud and I knew she didn't have Iron Will. Iron Will doesn't affect when you're on the ground. And knowing that I can hear her cry is going to allow me to pinpoint her exact direction. Instantly turn around and go for the closer hook rather than the far. You know the rule, if I can hear the hatch while I'm taking you the hook, I generally give the hatch as well at the end of the trial. And that is going to be an educational informative Leatherface game where I did almost maximum hooks but one and I split as much pressure as I possibly could throughout the trial with no add-ons against a group of survivors that were stacking on different generators. If you guys, enjoy if you guys enjoyed the video, it is a rank 1 informative educational Dead by Daylight game. It would be my pleasure to have you guys pop in the live stream where I stream Dead by Daylight 5 days a week provide entertaining hopefully educational dead by daylight content to a lot of people make sure you hit that subscribe button guys um because subscribing will give you more information on the latest videos and i will see you guys in the fog have a good one